I love is creating the texture, and I feel like texture is the foundation to my work, and I love touching it and feeling it. I don't use a brush very often, but I love just being a part of my work, and it's also emotional, and sometimes, yes, a story comes through, and my emotions go into the work, and things flow. Love that, and then sometimes surprises come out, and you know, like, wow, you know, you don't expect something to happen, and, and then when things don't work, you just paint over it. <laughs> so, and then something amazing happens. So. I was painting the nude. I just thought I'd get that out fast. Really? <laughs> really? And, and, I, uh, <laughs> and I like to move around the table, and it's kind of a wind-up. So, but I move around the table, and I like to, I like to work flat. And uh, I, I just, I never could figure that out. I want to just, I want to be on it, over it, move around it. I want kind of a controlled space. We all know, walking away is the tough part. You know when it's there, when you got it, okay, it's there. And then you close the door and get out of the house or go for a walk or something. But it's really easy to come back and sort of peek in the door and go, Ugh. And, and I've screwed up a few good ones. I don't try to tell a story, but I often have people come to me and say, uh, tell me a story. Like this painting, I had a woman say to me, this painting yes, reminds me of when I was playing the piano during a wildfire. And I couldn't leave, I wasn't being in the back, so I just kept playing the piano and everything was burning around me. And I thought, well that's better than anything I can come up with. So I love to hear the stories that I, people tell me about the work. Just restless in general, but that keeps me on my toes. You know? It's like it takes a little devil to fight the devil. And, uh, idle hands are a devil's workshop. You know? So I try to keep my hands occupied. And to me, art is like a, my mental therapy. You know? and, my spiritual well-being balances me. And be in the zone and put music on, or sometimes it's so nice when you don't hear the street noise outside downtown, especially it's so busy. So it's just the best when you're in the zone and something, you know, that you don't expect comes out. Something magical happens. Yes, exactly. So. And I love adding and removing. That's another part of my process. I like to add things, I remove things. And even when you remove something, you're still adding another layer. <laughs> the best piece of advice I ever got from somebody I really respect, a magnificent artist, uh, uh, was shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. Don't tell me what it is. You know, it's let me experience it, let me go. And uh, I started, you know, small little space, and when, the, when there was maybe 50 people going on the second Thursday art walks, and it later became a very, very popular uh, art walk, you know, 10,000 people coming through. Uh, and somehow my gallery became a very popular destination. And people would come in to me and they would say, you know, I, I don't know what to buy, I'm a new collector, I, how do I get started? And I would say, well, do you love it? How does it make you feel? And if you love a piece of work and it makes you happy or it makes you think of something or you can relate to it or you can create a story out of it, then you're not, you can't possibly make a mistake. Then you're buying the right piece of work for you. And sometimes I see work that's like too busy, too much texture, too much stuff. And I just see that when things are simple and zen-like, I love that. And my life is, you know, balanced and zen-like and space is important. I agree with that. And everything seems to flow, and there's punch way, so I really love all of that.